My name is Teresa. I reside in Violet, New Jersey. And while I have people in my town stealing my ideas throughout the years and um, probably making up, uh, making money from um, a lot of things or what have you, uh, here's some giveaways for people. Please design these things. Look, looking for cases for things is ridiculous. I mean, I am spending countless of hours wasting my time looking for a simple case. Okay? So, these, these are, this is a thing. I mean, I probably have spent... I don't know, probably about maybe... 40, 50, 60 hours looking for cases for different things. Total, out of the last probably few weeks, I'm not really sure. Look. This is the problem. Alright, so I needed a case. Right? For like little gadgets and things. Little things that come with things I may not use all the time. And all these wires. I'm getting things and I'm getting all these little wire attachments or whatever. I know that I shouldn't really automatically throw them out since I'm getting, like, the same repetitive wires, you know, for, like, I don't know, like, a little video cam or, or some kind of attachment of something or whatever. So, I got all these USB cords and all these other things or whatever. And looking for, like, storage cases for it was unbelievable, okay? So, I wound up getting a fishing tackle box, after hours and hours of looking for basically something to compartmentize, like little different things. And with those little different things, you know, you, you just get like these, well, little different things. Excuse me, I have, an, I have an itch on my face. Sorry about that. I should start this video over. I don't think it matters. Anyway, so this is the thing. So I look through, I mean, I look through toolboxes. I look through just like, okay, boxes and uh, organizers, compartments and all these things. And I just need to like a little top part to throw these little wires in and then like little gadgets like here, there and little sections or whatever where I could take them out and adjust them whatever size I need to fit, fit that little thing. So I found this toolbox. It has a, it has a, like a, a wide top to put wires in. And then it has like, uh, they're not full drawers, but actually it's better. It like flips out and then basically has these little, uh, slide out little compartments, um, individually, like four different ones underneath. It's perfect. Okay. So I'm sitting there and I'm going through other things now. I decided to wear makeup. Now, I'm not into the whole makeup thing, whatever, things like that. But strangely, look, I was, look, I, I, I wore makeup a little bit when I was like, you know, 14 and 15, hardly any, you know, only because basically I have, I have a scar on my lip, if, I don't know if you like notice it or whatever, tried to like cover it up, but I wore like natural tones or whatever and things like that, so, and like, you know, little other things to balance everything out or whatever, I never wore heavy makeup and all these things to say, so I got into it a little bit when I was around 20 or whatever, between 20 to 30 or whatever, just a little bit barely here, there, whatever, I did did um if I have to go up close up to people or something like that or whatever because my my scar was like always pointed out I was pointed out less when I was you know wore just a little bit of makeup it, it, I mean I didn't think it covered everything but it concealed it a little bit so anyway um the thing is is that um strangely so I'm sitting there and I'm I actually decided to basically wear makeup again because look I have people attacking me online or whatever I'm getting actually strangely like the circles in my under my eyes are not as dark as it appears on video it's really really terrible and there's like apparently just like lighting if I can get like a right angle like lighting see that like cast down on my eyes wrong. So you can see that I'm not really have that under eye circle, but I get bullied on it. I about probably 20 people, uh, average throughout the years or whatever, you know, that I look terrible. Okay. So I do look terrible. That's, that's not even an issue. Um, so, you know, I'm not aging very well, whatever. So I'm doing like, you know, 
these videos or what have you, and I'm just trying to, like, you know, just, I'm not going to wear makeup makeup. I'm not going to get into it where I'm, like, painting my face with, like, a mask or something. So it's very strange. So I'm looking for just, like, little things for makeup and what is the best quality for this day to update it or what have you. And, you know, whatever. I mean, before, in the past, I only wore, like, you know, cheap, like, um, you know, pharmacy, like, drugstore type, you know, makeup, whatever I can pick up or whatever. <clears throat> so, this is the thing. I couldn't find a case for it, right? And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, and I'm just like, ooh, you know what? Because the thing is, there was one time where I actually got these hard case. Um, I still have them. I don't know where they are. I was actually going to use it. I was, they got these hard case, and it was just like a little thunder thing for actually for shades. The thing is, I have to wear shades most of the time in in the sunlight because I have oval pupils, all right, and my I, eyes are really sensitive to the sun, and I'm I'm kind of like my eyes are like this in the sunlight, like I'm squinting, right, literally. Um, so you know, um, I wound up with these on um, a few sunglass cases that I got at this discount store or whatever that I found. Just came, just stumbled across. I was like, oh, these are good cases or whatever. But I wound up using a couple of them for, like, my makeup, right? So, but I hardly used it. So, the thing is, I actually wound up, I'm actually going to get back to that in a minute. So, the thing is, I'm going to say, I'm going to look up eyeglasses cases, see what they have, right? Look, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, makeup cases. They, see this? This is amazing. <laughs> this is like a magnetic case and it's a two-sided sunglass case so uh it's kind of like um i don't know is there and get it online or whatever so it's kind of like that right it's kind of slanted and the other side is like it's kind of slanted in the middle and then like i have like something on the other side i think i don't know just shove that in there just there and see if it'll fill the space or whatever Oop, that's the wrong side so but it's two-sided right and i'm just like you know what this would make a great purse I'm sorry, like, if you have it handheld, right, or if you put, like, little a little thing on the side and put, like, some kind of a, um, like, some kind of a strap or a little chain or something on it like this, it would make an awesome purse. I'm sorry, th this is an eyeglass case, right? <laughs> so, the thing is, I keep running across things cases that are perfect for other things and i cannot find the case that i need that i'm looking with for that item okay so this is a thing so my adventure continues on cases okay so i'm looking for cases and strangely it's like i decided i was like oh you know i was thinking about getting you back into like art sketching and things like that so um you know the thing is, is that I actually want to look and see, actually, because I don't remember what kind of sketch pencils that I had before. So I wound up trying to look for them, and I can't find them. Strangely, this is my last, I came across makeup. Now, it's over 10 years old, okay? Um, probably about, I think mean like around 15 years old, I found my little makeup case. And, of course, the things that I have now, not everything fits in it, so I can't use it for that. But I'm just like, I'm sorry. All the makeup cases I had are ugly, all right? The expensive ones, the cheap ones, I looked for everything and looking in other things or whatever. And, of course, yes, I looked in, like, you know, um, other areas or whatever for um, makeup cases. I found that. Uh, but I'm going to need another case because of other things that I have or whatever. But this is... This is the thing. If I could have found this online in a little bit bigger size, I can't even believe I had this. I barely remember this, and I found it, like, in the back of a drawer looking for my pencils. But this <laughs> was my makeup case. I have to throw out the makeup because it is old. It's recommended you throw out, like, yeah, I mean, I don't know. But um, it's every six months or something like that or whatever. Um, I think less, it all depends, I guess, how you use it, um, and things like that or whatever. Um, um, you know, I didn't use it often, so it was just like, you know, you sit there and check out makeup or whatever. But, um, I think it's less than that, but, um, it's a thing. So, cases, like, I, I, um, 
this case is cute. I'm at, I'm gonna keep the case. <laughs> like it's like a netting, like sheer. Let's see the design. So, um, yes, that was it's it's smaller than my hand. So I mean, oh, it's like it, it's smaller than my hand. <laughs> so I don't have like an eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara, and lipstick in there. <laughs> so anyway, cases, covers. Like, I mean, that's not the only cover. Like, I, I actually try to find something, right, for my little, it's like just a little um fold clothes, a Logitech, like, little camera. I haven't even used, well, no, I used it actually years ago. Strangely, I actually had one, and my camera on my other laptop just stopped working, and I took it to the shop. They say they weren't, they weren't able to find it, so Don actually bought me another one, which was the exact same one that I actually just found looking for a camera, so now I have two the exact same. So the thing is, I can't find a case. What am I going to use for to cover it up to protect the lens and just while well, it's just sitting there and things like that? So I actually have a, a little kitty little footy. Uh, like a little slip-on foot sock, not like a, the ankle sock, but a little footy Hello Kitty on it. It's very cute, right? Hold on a second. So I, have, I had an itch. So I, look, I have all these covers for things in cases. That is not supposed to go with the thing. This is the problem. I have no rightful like case. Now people can sit there and say like uh, you know it's picky or whatever, but I heard like different situations. Like look. Okay, so Don, he got like this thing, like a little metal detector, right? And so there's no cases for it. There's no nothing. And it's like, so I'm searching and searching and searching what to put the, I'm like, okay, well, he can't just, you know, carry this thing around and carry like the things that he needs for those things and or whatever. So I'm looking and looking and looking, don't find anything. Somebody else comes up with an idea, right? Not my idea. A brilliant one at that. Um... But it wasn't my idea. So I'm coming. To, I'm looking for cases and things. How to store this metal detector. And how to carry it. And all these things or whatever. This guy also cannot find a case for this his metal detector. Oh, my hand's shaking. So, um, so he actually comes up with an idea to use a rifle bag. Like a hunting gear uh, for your guns and things like that or whatever for a metal detector. Which has all the compartments and everything that is needed. It holds the shovel, holds everything on it or whatever. And, like, and I'm just like, why can't people find the right case for the right item? What is up with this? Okay, people come up with an item. They're not into the case thing. They're not into the, you know, whatever. But... I, I, some some of these cases are very inconvenient, and they're just, like, so tacky. Why? Why? Okay, okay, it gives another person an opportunity He makes cases. But you know how hard it is to find a decent case that is very fitting and more universal to people's like, you know, like I, I've heard people who's like, I don't like this that, you know... Um, I don't like the case. Like, this guy with the, the with this with this gun case. I don't like the case for this. Or whatever. I couldn't find anything. I looked all over. I couldn't find anything that was, like, fitting for that. That was convenient for everything that I needed in the case. So, my, 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 my thing, my venture continues. Now, I have my Alexa and my Alexa light here. And there's no case. There's no cover protecting it from dust and all these other things or whatever. And unwanted and unnecessary you know, elements in, in in the air, or whatever that can land on it, stick to it, whatever the case may be. And so I actually have pillowcase cases. You know how you buy like a couple pillowcases, and it comes in a little case. And actually, I used those cases in the past to actually store my candy and other little other things or what have you. Why? Because I can't find the right case for it. But I have these pillowcase cases. Okay, They're, oh, hold on. Let me just pull one off of here. So this is what I use for my. Alexa light cover protector. So it's just like a little pillowcase case. Mm, I don't know that. Oh, I said her name. And she's like, hmm, I don't know that. So, um, yeah, so that goes over the light and she has her own little case over her. So, um, look, I'm, I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's very convenient. So I'm looking for pencil cases, right? Oops. I'm trying to put this back on with one hand. Um, so I'm looking for pencil cases, and this is a thing. So I, I get this little, you know, pencil set, 24 pencils. 
um, for my art. And I, I don't like the tin can that comes in. Now, I get it. Because the reality is, the pencils... Look, I'm looking... I've been spending hours looking for a sticking case for 24 pencils. Okay, I bought a case for, like, other pencils, for color pencils. I need a simple case that is very similar... This is the thing. The cases they have is flimsy, right? Um, ugh, my hand's shaking. I'm just there and switch arms. So, the cases I have, I mean, that they have, I'm sorry. Um, they're cases that are kind of flimsy, um, where it could probably still do damage to your pencil tips. You cannot have that. I actually was looking for the roll up leather um pencil case they have nice ones i love them they don't hold 24 pencils okay what does hold 24 pencils is these cloth ones you cannot use cloth roll ups for art pencils because you want to protect the tips of your points from breaking okay so you want to preserve that as much as possible so, looking and looking and looking for hours and hours and hours on end. So, all kinds of cases or whatever. Now, this is what is needed, right? The tin can, okay, they even have 12. Like, 12 artist pencils comes in, like, the nice, perfect shape and size. Very tacky. I mean, I'm not knocking the brand or whatever, but it's really tacky to put all that on the front, Right? Um, of their design or what have you. Um, I got it. It's again. I don't know why. Oh, 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 okay. Now I remember. Um, oh yeah. I actually wound up getting, um, okay. Well, I, I'm not gonna get into that. Do that thing. Let me get back to this. I had a little spice problem, strangely. I wouldn't do another video on that. But, um, um, yeah, I used, I wound up getting these items and I, there was this strong spice smell and spice was all over the place. And I was getting itchy. I don't know what was happening. Um, but this is a very scary, scary thing. So I can get into that now. But anyway, um, I did write a little bit about it on my on my Facebook or whatever. But um, so this is the thing. I'm going through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pencil cases. You cannot get anything flimsy. You can't even get like something that's somewhat sturdy. And has like this zipper around it with a cloth in the middle. That can still damage your points. You can't do that. So the thing is, the only thing that com I can come up with. Okay, so there's art sets online, right? That has somewhat of, of a more decent like pencil holder. This is, this is what we need. We need something that's like a tin that holds all the pencils flat, right? So if you have a 24 case... There's 12 on one side and there's 12 on the other. I did find one. Okay? Somewhere. Actually, I kind of lost it. Um, and, but it's still inconvenient. Everything around it has to be hard. Even where they have like a zip around to close it or whatever. It has to be hard. Like the tin can. Like the tin can of the 12 pencil. But it has to be more convenient. Tin is not really, um... Convenient for holding. Now, with the roll-ups, let me say this. With the roll-ups, the only thing I can find is, okay, the roll-up uh, for pencils, you only can fit like maybe 10 pencils in it or 8 pencils or 6 pencils and it has wide pockets and you only fit like a couple in, in, in one slot and a couple in another slot and that's it and then you can fit another couple of items over and you roll up this thing. And that's inconvenient. They do have cloth ones. They have canvas ones. But you cannot use it. I don't know why they would sell that for people who are artists or sketching or whatever. If they're buying it, they, I, I don't know, they don't understand. <laughs> okay, they really don't have that understanding. But you cannot r r buy a cloth or a canvas roll up for pencils. It's not going to work. See, the, the hard leather stays stiff. Okay, so what we need is like a 12 to 25, 25 pencil slot roll up, okay, and that stays stiff so it's not going to sit there and damage the points of the pencils. So the cloth, the canvas is completely worthless. 
So people, you know, use it. I mean, they're they're sharpening their pencils. I they don't understand. Okay, um, that, that's you can't do that. All right. So the thing is, I'm looking for a hard case. It's convenient. I found actually things that I bought in the past. Actually, I bought it for my daughter for school. It's really cool. It's like a, a somewhat of a, fle a flexible but hard plastic. It has a little snap over, right? Um, they were really, really cool when I bought them for them when they were in school. Um, but the thing is, they're really, really inconvenient um, um, in a sense because you, there's like going to be like, it's going to be like a width of six pencils with three rows. rows. We need to see our numbers on our pencils. Okay, so everything has to be flat and it has, everything has to be visible. So, you know, so with all these plastic um, things where you can put like three rows of your pencils in and protect your pencils, we need to be able to grab it. I mean, you can't sit there and pull all of them out. So what, some of them are transparent. But like I said, they're in three rows. Um, so what is needed is like um, a flat row of a hard plastic Um that's accessible, even maybe transparent, that you can maybe pull out. I don't know about pulling out from the top from the point. I don't know about that, but um, something. Um, but they have to be visible no matter what. Um, flat and a row. So of uh, either six and six on the other side. Um, and accessible, easily accessible. Or like 12 and 12. Not 24 all the way across. So, I mean, they have those and they have 12, but like I said, they are, they have the zipper and the cloth around the edges. This is not good. Um, so, um, they do have ones with the cloth around the edges where it's a little bit longer. So it's least likely it may, may touch or bend like your pencils or whatever, but it's still a little bit flimsy. So the thing is cases cases i'm sorry are hard to come by and people need to rethink their cases so a lot since people like i've given stuff away since the people were stealing from me i'll put something out there an idea i'm like okay have this take this, this you can have this as your idea use use this for evidence or what have you because i cannot get to it or do anything about it or whatever it's kind of like i mean you know how they have reptile like rock warmers they shouldn't make those for cats for winter something that doesn't get too hot because sometimes rock warmers or whatever can actually burn your little um reptiles and stuff i knew somebody was into that or whatever they had to take their animal to the doctor or whatever and um so whatever but something that's of course obviously is not going to get too hot more safer things like that or whatever but um you know, uh, cats, like, I mean, even the summer, summer and even the mountains and all these other things, when you're f filming them in a natural wild, like, really, they're, they actually lay on those rocks for warmth. It's just, it's just a thing that they do, and they like the hard, um, uh, rocks. So, they're actually something that some, similar related, why they're attracted to boxes and lay on boxes. So, I really believe there's a connection that that's actually my own observation. Um, trying to figure out why cats love boxes so much. So, um, anyway. So, yeah, there's pretty, there's a few, like, good looking cases. I can't really get into up close, like, detail. Um, they look fine, but the reality is, is that they're coming with sets. Um, already filled. We need just cases. Okay. I sit there trying to look them up and see if, if there's somebody on a case that's similar or, or whatever the case may be. You're making a link and I just can't find it. Okay. So this is, um, continual. I'm tired. I'm very tired. I need the right cases for things, the right storage for things. And, um, convenient oh for i'm basically looking for a new um bag for my art supplies that actually also, also took like i'm talking about like probably 10 20 30 hours i don't even know um i mean probably actually a little less um um i i'm looking for um a bag like the stuff that they're coming up with is so ridiculous like there's this new bag out for like sketch pads or whatever and it winds up being like some kind of an easel where you you attach it to like a tripod or something and it comes out and it flips out but it's very inconvenient for basically storing your sketch artwork and things like that you know they have the your portfolios where maybe you can carry something to take to your college class or something 
no, no, we're, 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 we're talking about artists here. We're talking about, like, um, um, uh, things we can take in and out. Well, we're working on, we're working on several different projects, several, several different books. Okay. We need, like, our sample books. Like, um, I mean, yeah, it, it's just, like, to test things or whatever. And, um, to carry, like, all these things, and I think I found a couple, but it, it was very, very difficult, um, or whatever, you know, portfolio files, and, and all these, uh, they were, they were okay, at least they, they come up, in the, you know, with a hard plastic and things like that, I mean, I did find some, but, um, um, people don't understand. I'm not, I'm not into the makeup thing. Some people use it as like an art. I get it for some, some things or whatever. I really don't believe people should wear makeup where they look completely different than who they are. Um, I mean, you know, um, some people use it. They have blemishes, you know, it's just like, I mean, it just, you know, they, they want to do all these things. Okay. People have fun with it. You know, they turn it into an art, you know, that's fine, but don't hide yourself. You know, that's, that's what I recommend about that but um you know people, some people you know i mean they go all extreme out there this is like a showcase so they have fun with it i mean i don't know the degree of that but um i'm all about like you know natural or whatever you know and um so i don't know it's fun for people i've been trying to understand and actually watch makeup artists artist to basically understand because i'm the type of person it's like why why put all that on your face why you why um you gotta do that every day <laughs> i was under pressure of makeup when i was a teenager but i mean i didn't care to face me you know it's just like uh, you know um I don't know. I don't want to get into that. But the thing is, it's just like I, there is basically the same principles used uh, in art and shadowing and all these other things and contouring. It's just like, OK, wow. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. And this is people want to use their face for canvas, I guess. I don't know. Um, but um, I. um Yeah, finding cases and covers and, and all these things. Um, is exhausting. I'm actually using, um, got for, like, a couple of, like, you know, lip liner, eyeliner, and things like that. I actually got pen cases, by the way. So, um, I forgot to add that in there. So, I actually got these clear tube pen cases for decoration or what have you, um, to put a couple of those things in. I don't know how that's gonna work, because the sizing it or whatever, what I could fit in there. I don't know. But, um, I'm, I needed something hard, um, and, uh, just to, I, I don't know, that's, I'm just looking for cases and cases and cases, please, people, somebody, <laughs> help! <laughs>